Hi everybody, my name is Chris Like, and welcome to Like Science. Today I'm on location in the mighty Mississippi River between the states of Iowa and Illinois. I want to start looking at bridges. Specifically behind me is what we call the I-74 bridge, also known as the Iowa-Illinois Memorial Bridge. The Iowa-Illinois Memorial Bridge was built in 1935. It was only one span across the Mississippi at that point, uh, and it wasn't until 1961 that they built the second bridge. Originally it was a toll bridge, meaning you did have to pay money to go across the bridge, but in 1970 they took the tolls away. This bridge has over 80,000 cars go across it every day on average. And it was found that in today's standards, for interstate standards, it doesn't have big enough shoulders and it's not quite up to spec for what they need today. So it has to be replaced. Iowa and Illinois are making a new bridge right on the other side of the original I-74 bridge. This bridge doesn't have pillars like the original Iowa-Illinois Memorial Bridge. It has an arc over the top. And also you'll notice it has some suspension wires that are also helping hold, help hold up the bridge. There is a lot of engineering that goes into making this thing. Let's learn more about it. Built for daily crossing of 48,000 vehicles, the daily average is actually 80,000, making it by far the most traveled bridge in the Quad Cities. Both the Interstate 80 and 280 bridges are up to interstate standards, while the Interstate 74 bridge is functionally obsolete and was not built to interstate standards. It has two narrow lanes, no shoulder, and a 50 mile per hour speed limit. The I-74 corridor study was completed to study replacing the bridge with a larger one with four lanes in each direction. The study claimed that the I-74 bridge project would spur economic growth, create construction jobs, reduce traffic backups, and improve air quality. Funding for the construction of the new bridge has been earmarked for $22 million in 2017 and $50 million in 2018. The new bridge will be just upstream from the existing bridge and will be a basket handle, true arc, twin bridge with four lanes in each direction and a pedestrian bike path. Before we can go off and build our own bridges, it's good to know what kind of bridges are out there. You're going to find that with this video there's a worksheet that leads you through some reading about the different types of bridges. Take your time answering the questions and really put some thought into what kind of bridge you would like to build. The worksheet talks about what a civil engineer is. An engineer is someone who solves problems, and a civil engineer solves problems with how things move within the city. They build bridges and roads and all the different things that make our cities work. Have a good time working through this worksheet. Be sure you pay close attention to the different vocabulary words because we're going to be using those from now on. Bye. <laughs>